What was something you thought would be easy, until you tried it? Snowboarding. I grew up on skis and when I tried snowboarding I literally just rolled down the entire mountain like a slinky on the stairs. I've heard several people say this. I have a couple friends that grew up in places that they could ski all the time. They said they thought snowboarding was going to be a piece of cake. Both said it kicked their ass. The amount of pain in the shins is too damn high. Skiing is basically like standing. If you can stand, you can ski. Snowboarding, you need to use every muscle in your body, or you die. Playing the guitar. The jump from not being able to play anything to playing basic chords and a couple songs you like isn't that much and it makes you feel like such a badass. But the jump again to a working musician is astronomical. I tried and just got burnt out and it wasn't fun anymore. Playing guitar is so much harder than I thought it would be. I've been playing for about 6 months and it's a ton of work. I have really small hands so the hardest part for me was building strength in my hands and fingers. I never was able to build calluses on my fingertips, so practicing always hurt so, so much. And playing through even one song from start to finish was so painful, I often had to stop partway through and give my fingers a break. Bar chords also hurt a lot. I stuck with it on and off for years, even practiced enough to be able to play and sing at the same time, but eventually gave up. If I didn't practice consistently, picking up the guitar again after a month or two away would be like starting over from scratch with the pain. Mudding and taping sheet rock. It's easy. Unless you want it to look good. That's the issue. Mine never looks good. Not even patchwork. I'm a sheetrock finisher and yes, many many customers can't believe the amount of work involved. They fail to show the real work involved in a non-textured wall on HGTV. Just a normal wall even with orange peel texture I can always appreciate the work that goes into it. Most people have no idea. Running. I was like yeah I smoke and drink but I can definitely run like the wind. Ha ah, no. Quit smoking after my first run and am now 3 years smoke free. Yes. I'm also almost 3 years smoke free, and loving running. Totally changed my life. A lot of the parts from that Ninja Warrior show. I'm a very physically fit guy and always thought that first course looked like a breeze. Then I found a local gym with a different element set up. Even just that very first part where you hop across a few platforms was tough. It is always unfair to some contestants. Some things such as the jumping and spider wall are very easy if you are a certain height, but I have seen many people fail just because they are not tall enough to do it. Even on the actual show, there was one girl that was too short to reach both sides of the spider wall and fell. However, when I was a kid I went to a ninja warrior training gym, and they had things such as the jumping, spider wall, and warp wall, except sizes so kids could do them. They were not any easier. Things like the warp wall were still the same size, and honestly, they were all very easy. It just takes the right strength and height. Learning a second language, I understand it's far easier as an adolescent but, phew, conversational German for an English speaker is very hard for me. Deutsche Sprache Schwerer German grad student here, it becomes more natural the more you do it, like most hobbies. It's all about daily exposure. The second you go an entire week or two without using it at all, you begin to lose progress. Has anyone tried to learn to do a handstand as an adult? How is that so difficult? Thanks but I'm trying to do the unbroken wrists thing in my life right now. You just have to accept that you may fall over, and not hunch your body up protectively. Start against a wall with someone on hand to catch your spills. A trusty spotter should help you relax enough to let your legs fly free. Source, I'm definitely an adult, have relearned handstands and cartwheels in my dotage. Maintaining a proper work slash life balance. When I was still in college, I'd either procrastinate way too much or I'd work non-stop. 
I was never able to find a balance where I was still getting shit done but not burning myself out. Unfortunately, I feel as though college is actually one of the worst times for a young adult to figure out a good work slash life balance. There was always too much of something going on. Too many extracurriculars to attend that your friends were doing, too many different classes placing independent demands on you for workload and homework, too many people asking you to sort your life out, asking you to think about a career, where do you want to live? Where do you want to work? Have you signed up for summer classes? How about those grades? And if you need to pay your way through school with a job? Ha! Ha ha ha! Good luck! Have you kept in touch with friends? Family? Oh, now you're sick. That's gonna be a few days worth of schoolwork piling up. And breaks slash weekends aren't fun anymore because either you're thinking about all the things you have to do or will have to do once you go back. I'm a little bitter, still. Are you, me? Making, and maintaining, friends as an adult. I never really put much thought into this, until I had no friends left in adulthood, and realized how easy it used to be as a kid in school in comparison. Any good methods you can share? Asking for a lack of friend. Moved cities at the beginning of the year. Covid hit and I've been working from home since I got here. Still haven't met anyone new here to hang out with because of the virus. Doesn't help that I've put on Covid weight and don't want to meet anyone right now because of it lol it is definitely a weird experience going from having strong friendships in a place you're familiar with to trying to make new friends in a place you don't know yet. Managing your own time, self-discipline. There are a lot of things that can distract you and bam it's 9pm and nothing has been done. Seriously. You can take one lazy day as an adult and you're somehow a week behind but not any less tired. Submit a bug report. This shit is unplayable. Subscribe for more hot reddit takes in your inbox, guaranteed.